My mom wanted me to be an architect. Because uh, she was like, okay, fine, you want to do something art related. Um, I think you should do something more financially viable. So at that point, that's when I told them, you know what, right, guys, I want to be a, a painter. There's a certain level that's expected, kind of like a certain class that you have to maintain. So it was difficult convincing my parents that I want to do fine art or I want to be a painter. But eventually my parents actually let me do what I want to do. But I still get those vibes from relatives or people from church. It was one of those things where like, not a lot of people believed in me. Um, so I had to get that inner motivation for myself. I think it's... Um, I like to put it at how we're raised in a black community that it's only jobs like being an engineer, being a medical doctor, um, getting into business, like those are the jobs that people actually see as sustainable or things that can, that someone can actually live off. So the expressive side is is limited in a black community. Whenever I paint, um, each painting I do, I always think about people that believe in me, um, things that were said about my painting. And then at first when I started out, the work of my work was bad. And I always try to push myself. Every painting that I do that, I have to get in this. I'm never satisfied. I've never been satisfied with the painting that I've done. I just always want to get better and better. And until I reach the level that I want to reach, um, I don't think I'll all be satisfied. So I guess that's because I haven't reached, I'm not even anywhere close to where I want to be. Um, I always just critique my personal paintings and see where I went wrong what I could have done better or how I'm going to improve. So it's this element of continuous improvement that I always have on my work. 